Hi kids, Eric the Car Guy here, back again. Today we're going to talk about the operation of a clutch and clutch disc assembly. I'm actually going to make this video part of a longer, well, a short section of a longer video that's going to be replacing a clutch, but this will at least give you some idea of how a clutch works. So after I get this transmission out and have all the parts where you can see them, we'll give you a look at exactly how your clutch works in your car just so you can know in case you need to fix it. If you will notice, there is a set of springs around the outside of this clutch disc. A clutch disc, most clutch discs, most, most clutch discs are made up of two pieces like a sandwich and then there's like a little spring in between here. I don't know if you can see this too well, but there are two halves to this clutch disc. And what happens is, is the pressure plate applies this to the back of the engine, is that one clutch disc moves independently of the other and these springs are there to sort of dampen that effect. If these springs and this damping wasn't here, like some clutches are solid, they don't have the split in the middle. It's an awfully jarring apply. These dampen the application of the clutch disc as it's applied. This is the pressure plate. The pressure plate and the clutch disc are together like so. This would be the back of the engine, the flywheel. These are your old clutch parts. Obviously your old clutch, no good anymore. This is your old pressure plate, and this is the old throw out bearing. Hear that? Real good idea to replace that because this is how the clutch works. The clutch is in between the pressure plate and the back of the engine. And this is splined to the input shaft of the transmission. So as the engine turns, the clutch disc can remain stationary as long as it's disengaged. It's engaged and disengaged by the throwout bearing, which is here. As the throwout bearing pushes down on these fingers, I know it's hard to believe, this actually moves back. As you release the clutch and the throwout bearing is pulled away from these fingers, pressure from the spring on the inside of here is forced against the clutch. So the clutch itself becomes sandwiched in between this pressure plate and the back of the transmission. And this being splined to the front of the, trans the uh, input shaft of the transmission means the input shaft of the transmission is going to move with the engine. Then as you shift gears, that power that's coming from the engine is multiplied or reverse direction depending upon what gear you have it in in order to move you down the road. Now the clutch disc is actually splined to the input shaft of the transmission. And as, as a result, as it spins, the transmission spins. So just keep that in mind. So if the clutch, if the pressure plate is away from the clutch and the clutch is not sandwiched between the flywheel and the pressure plate, it'll just sit there stationary as the engine runs. But as soon as you let your foot off the clutch, it spins the transmission. Okay, so as you would move your clutch pedal and step on it, it'll move this shift linkage here. And as, it move, as that shift linkage moves, it moves the throwout bearing here. And that throwout bearing makes contact with the pressure plate, just like I showed you over there. But this is what's happening on the transmission side. And then all the power from the engine is then transferred from here. And then if you look through this hole, if it's in gear, that is connected to your axle, which is connected to your wheels. But that is a short version of how a clutch works. You need a pressure plate, a clutch disc, and a throwout bearing. Now that you know the basic components of a clutch and how they operate, I hope this gives you a better understanding of how it works. There is a full length version of the clutch replacement on this vehicle available on the Fix It page at the Air the Car Guy website. I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, kids. And remember, stay dirty.